a swear? Jesus? Yeah. Jesus is a person, not a swear well, word. Well, I know he was a swear Whatever. You know he was a swear word? Uh, he might have been. Because nah, people say, like, Jesus Christ, you know? They mm. use him as... If you're using his name in vain, sure, absolutely. Okay, that's fair. All right. Now it is official. The second episode. Pick it and flick it. Podcast, man. The My internet name. worldwide sensation. This is going to blow up. We're going to be just famous before you know it. Wouldn't that be Touring. something? Touring. Touring We're going famous. on Pick It and Flick It tour. <laughs> in front we'll of just audience. have a giant like n- n- uh, finger in the nose. Come out on, on stage. the tour bus. Yeah, on the side of it. There, you, yeah, that's absolutely, right. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Fox. I'm and, Luke. Oh, yeah, I didn't know you had go more ahead. words to no, say. No, go ahead. If you want to introduce yourself now, fuck. I thought you already wrote it. I said fuck. I didn't swear. We're trying to keep that good. The ad bots just heard you, and they just they just axed the whole channel. Deleted. Is that a thing? Oh, they're knocking on the door. Oh, man. They're coming to get us. See, I don't know yes, how... Yes, that is a thing. I don't know how YouTube works, because I'm a podcaster, not a mm-hmm. YouTuber, and you're a YouTuber, not a podcaster. I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber. I just make videos and put them there. How many subscribers do you have? Almost 2,000. Okay, so you're a YouTuber now. You're that... you're a very small-time YouTuber. You've been doing it for, what, like three years? Okay. So, you're a YouTuber. That's okay. like your thing. I've been podcasting since I was, like... 12? No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, like 20 maybe. Really? Okay. And I've had multiple over the years. And now you're a senile elderly person. Now so. I'm just the guy that's like, listen, I need a podcast or I'm going to die. That's literally how this podcast started was we yeah. were like listening to the other one and we were like, let's do another one. Let's just do it. Let's we still it haven't even said what the movie is. These people are probably confused. It's only like 40 seconds into the show. Do you know how like Two limited minutes, okay. limited people's attention spans are? They've if probably already clicked listen, off. Listen, if they're not listening to at least the first five minutes without figuring out what we're we're doing by the thumbnail, then then they're just not worth. Oh yeah, this is only on YouTube. I forgot. <laughs> I was YouTube, thinking. Man. I was thinking this is like a Spotify thing. No, no, we're no, not no, that no. fancy yet. We're gonna talk about the one and only Spider Man today, in my opinion, mm-hmm. because the other two. Eh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna argue. We're gonna I know. Get, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna argue. I know. You're, you you just you, you just practically kicked me in the nuggets. For those who haven't seen it yet, Spider Man Far From Home is out in theaters. Get your booty there. You're acting like this movie isn't advertised on every screen Listen, I'm in just the trying entire to be professional. world. Okay. I'm just trying to be. It's been out for like a week and a half. It's gonna be out for way longer. Way by longer time by the time it gets out. out. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna uh, be like, hey, remember when Spider Man Two came out? Oh, we're on Spider Man Seven. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, I just think that we should give a fair warning that mm-hmm. this is a thing that's out right now. It is. And you should see it before listening to this podcast because we're going to spoil it. We are. That's just a fair warning up front. But, I mean, then again, the trailers for this movie itself was a, was a spoiler for the last movie. So Ooh, there's, there's... You're right. And they give a warning about that. They do. I've never seen that. You I've, haven't seen the warning? I've never seen, like, someone walk out on, oh, on, oh, oh. In, in the middle of a trailer and go, by the way, this is going to spoil the last movie. Oh, like, I've, I've never seen that. Let's dive right in. Is this not one of your top favorite, like maybe top two favorite Spider-Man movies of all time? Top two? I don't know. I'd probably say it's probably fourth. Oof. I, I mean, I don't are know. are you on. counting the Avengers movies as a Spider-Man no, movie? Okay. No, why would I do that? That's silly. But oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. No, fourth? Uh, no I'd, say, I'd say third. I'm going to say this is number two for me. Okay. And Homecoming being number one. Oh, okay. See, so, see we're gonna we're gonna yeah, have we're gonna, we're gonna argue. Okay. I am gonna start by saying that although a fan of the original trilogy, Tom Holland reintroduced Spider Man mm-hmm. as a love for me. Okay. Because I'm a comic book fan. You you are, and and let the records show with crystal clear clarity. <laughs> I have never read a comic book in my life. Which blows my mind. At least, okay, I don't want to say that because then that might be a lie, but I I can't say I've ever sat down and read a Spider-Man comic or like anything like that. Like maybe something that was in a cereal box, something that came with another toy, something of that nature. But so I've like never, three pages of a comic book. Yes. Oh, man, oh, my. But I've never, I've never. Do you read? Do you like reading? Reading's okay. Like, but not, do you like sit down and read? Not often. Oh, man. See, I like to read. Mm-hmm. However, my attention span is very that, short, that's, as you mentioned. Yeah. And if I'm not, like, into something, then I, I can't I, okay. I can't continue reading it. So right. having a picture in front of me and <laughs> with, a lot of with words. With little words. A lot of words. Like, I'm 
all for it. So okay. I read a lot of comic books. Like okay. to this day. That's fair. Like yesterday I was reading comic You know book. printed comic books are on the decline, right? I don't even want to talk about that right now, okay? <laughs> this is a movie podcast. <laughs> for now. Yeah, until I we, know. Into, well, I mean, we really haven't talked about a movie, and we're how, how far into this? Eh, only five minutes. Whatever. <laughs> Tell me about your initial thoughts before seeing this movie. Like, what were you thinking going into this? We I, knew the villain. We knew the outcome of Endgame. Okay, well, first of all, on that villain note, you have to be practically brain dead to assume that Mysterio wasn't going to be the bad guy. Because I've never read a comic book, and even I knew he was the bad guy. Did you know who Mysterio was before this? Very little. Okay. I knew. I knew... He was supposed to be in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4. Right. So I think I might have read a Wikipedia paragraph on him, something of that. But I'm not... I I just knew he was like a magic guy. That's all I knew. Okay. But not... But I knew he was like a big villain up there with like Green Goblin and Venom in them. I mean, it's part of the Sinister Six, so... Which is a thing. The original Sinister Six. There's more than one? I mean, there's... Yeah. There's other... What if there were six groups of Sinister Six? Then... That'd be 36. Ugh, I don't know. Is that is there that many Spider-Man villains? <laughs> there's a lot. I mean, there's multiple villains in the honestly, same group. Because honestly, I think I could name more Spider-Man villains than just about any other superhero. Maybe like Batman, but like name name six Iron Man villains. Yeah, good good point. Thank you. I mean, I probably could if I really thought about it, but that would take me a minute. Nerd. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. Okay. I don't think it was good as, as Homecoming, obviously. You didn't think it was? No, no, really, no. Really? No. I, I liked it more. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I got know, it. Man. I got it. I'm, I got my list of MCU ranking. Of course. I'm a nerd. An asshole but, like that. Yeah. Um, I have ho- uh, Homecoming at about. Hold on. Let me do some Uh-oh. math here. You do your thing. I'm going to talk. I got, I got Far From Home at eighth place, and I have Homecoming at tenth. Oof. Yeah. That's pretty low. How's that pretty low? For, um, for, Mar- for the MCU? Yeah. Like. I don't know, man. I think. Do you want me to? Do you want me to? Give, I think give both, the list from yeah, homecoming let's get, to first. Yeah, give me the list. Give me. The okay, list. so from what's from your, top to bottom, from number one. Your number, number one's one. Infinity War. Okay. Infinity War, Iron Man, the first Avengers movie, Winter Soldier, Guardians Two, Endgame, oh my, my heart, Civil War. Oh my God. Far from Home, Guardians One, Thor Ragnarok, and then Homecoming. Oh my! That's the ten. First I'll, ten. I'll give you my top three. Okay, okay let's hear it. Top three: Iron Man, mm-hmm. Civil War, okay, and Homecoming. Really? Yeah. Okay, so we're on a on a close, real close, but didn't quite make it. Thor Ragnarok. Okay, for yeah. Number four. That that I think I think a lot of people really like that because it was so it was so different, and everyone's like, oh, it's another Thor movie. No one cares about. Oh, this movie was fun, enjoyable. Well, the first two it, Thor it was a good movies yeah. throw them right out the, the window. Those are those are the two lowest on my list. Yeah. Is the first two. Thor I movies. in fact, when seeing End War, End, End War. End War. <laughs> Endgame, I kind of forgotten about some of the things when he goes into the past. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm surprised they what? went to that movie of all things. Yeah, I was like, I totally forgot about this because mm-hmm. I hated that movie so much. So, anyways, uh, do you want to start with the goods or the bads of this movie? Ooh, I thought we were still going to debate on my list. Well, I'm not going to debate on your list anymore. So you that's really, all, that's just a point of opinion. I can't believe Infinity War is not up there with you. No, that's remember, such a tightly written movie. For people who don't know, it mm-hmm. took me two times. To like Infinity War. Okay. So that's how I felt about Endgame. Dude, first the f- time I was kind of iffy on it. Endgame, it kind of went up, but I still think it's it's definitely a step down from Infinity War. Oh man, the first time I watched Infinity War, like that ending, I was like, th- what? I thought that was the best part. Uh, stop. That it. was great. I was like, this I couldn't is believe they this. actually they actually let him win. Yeah, I was like, this is stupid. I'm done. And I'm a Thanos fan. But at the same time, I was like, the way that they ended that, no, thank you. Okay, no but then you. again, I don't have any comic book. Yeah, I know experience to know, I know what what how did how did that actually happen? It didn't even get like I mean, it is like that. Like did he, he did the, he 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 got successful? Yeah, with he it? does the snap okay. and all this stuff. But it's been so long since I've read that. He was like, it was totally different circumstances because he's trying to like marry death, and death is a woman in the comics, like like death itself. Yeah, like like the but, Grim Reaper sort but of thing. Like death is a personified as a woman. So I just hit the mic. I'm sorry. Just punch the mic. Um, so it's just it's totally separate. It's really weird. Apples to oranges yeah, sort of thing. Okay, a, it's not a comparable thing That's to the fair. movies. But he does do the snap and stuff happens like mm-hmm. the end of story. But uh, yeah, at the end of that, mm, I was just bummed out by it. But I'll tell you, Infinity War 
was good the second time around because I realized that everything needed to happen after seeing Endgame. Right. right. You know, I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, this makes sense. Um, this movie is a step down on the Spider-Man ladder mm-hmm. as far as the far, far from home. Well, let's start with Civil War. Okay. Step down for me. Really? I feel like now that we've seen Peter Parker go through everything from stealing Captain America's shield, which who does that as an intro? Spider-Man does You know, that. like, hey, I'm coming in. No one knows who I am in this they, universe. They might and... as well have packaged that scene with a middle finger that says, fuck you, Sony. Yeah. And at the same <laughs> we time. We got him back now. <laughs> at the same time, though, it's like no one expected that to happen. We knew Spider-Man was coming in, but no one expected that to happen. But no one in the MCU knew who Spider-Man was. So we were like, okay. Who's he, this guy? He just stole Captain America's shield, and everyone on Cap's side was like, what the heck? Cool. Amping up. Then we get freaking Homecoming, mm-hmm. and he's against the Vulture, and they're mixing it in really well with the MCU as the Vulture not being someone who created a flying suit out of mm-hmm. real feathers. Someone who created Is that what it suit. is in the comics? Yeah, or? he's okay. got like a feather suit. Okay. Because um, I know, isn't he like a really old guy? Yeah, he's an old dude. Yeah, That's weird. Which Michael Keaton just knocked that right out of the park. Michael Keaton way. is like, how old do you think he is now? Uh, he's in his sixties. He looks really good. Is yeah. what I was gonna say. Yeah, he, he, he has to be. He in his could 60s. he could pass for like early forties if he wanted to. Oh yeah, easily. But tying it in with MCU, we're making mm-hmm. a suit out of alien tech. Here we go. Right again, another like villain we haven't seen from the San Raimi movies that should have been in there. I think he was supposed to be in four as well. Uh, yeah, I think they were setting up for the Sinister Six, the, which is which four. is pretty wild. That if you really think about it, that this movie that was supposed to happen almost a decade ago, yeah, they're kind of they're using those ideas, which is fine. Oh well, I mean, what and are they gonna do? I'm not gonna shit on the Sam Raimi movies, man, because you, you can't know even what? do it. Three, although it was a joke of a movie itself, I think that's it the still best. has a lot of good stuff. I think in that's it. the best part about the movie. Mm-hmm. It was a joke. Like you go in and watch it, like right. he's dancing around and being all weird. You're like, this is hilarious. Like, sure, you could redo Venom, exclude him entirely from the movie, but like, I think Sandman and his performance, his arc, the effects in general, I think that all makes up for it. I think it was good casting for Sandman, but I did not like that storyline. Okay, really? I like the Venom storyline. Is that not what that. it is in the in the comics? I can't even remember. Because it's been so does long anyone since, know? I've, since I've been interested in a Sandman like villain in the comics. Okay, like, okay, but I thought the casting was who ca- who played him? Thomas Hayden Church. Or whatever. I think. Hold on, we're gonna do it. He, Keep talking. He I'm was such a up. good Sandman because he he's got like the black head and he was just like this innocent style guy, and then all of a sudden here he yeah, goes. Thomas and Hayden Church. Was he's just name. pissed off because hey, you know, wasn't he in George of the Jungle? Probably he was he was the bad guy in George of the Jungle. Was he? Yeah, he had long blonde hair. It was like comb back. That's where I knew him from. That was really funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> the the Amazing Spider Man movies. <sighs> those are those are bad. Man, Almighty! Oh There's a lot going those on. Are those are rough. Like, not only is Peter Parker an asshole through the whole thing, mm-hmm. you don't sympathize. He's with too him at perfect. All. You don't sympathize with him. That, not... That's why I think. Like even though Tobey Maguire was like pushing thirty <laughs> when he when he was He's supposed got to be a high punchable school kid, face too, man. He was he was I, I I don't know if pathetic's the right word, or maybe it is. Definitely the right word. He, I think he has that he has that like he's kicked down constantly, but yep. you still want to see him pull Succeed. through. Yeah, absolutely. With with Andrew Garfield, it's like a Hollister models getting bullied. Like you feel bad. He wasn't bullied, but not very much, dude. He wasn't bullied. Right. He was the one standing up to Flash in that first scene. Where right. Because some. Like, cause I would have rather seen the kid he was bullying yes. be Spider Man than Andrew Garfield. Yes, dude. I just. I don't know. I don't even want to touch on them. We're but still not talking about home, Far From Home, really. Here's the thing. This is more of a Spider Man podcast. Than okay. A Far From Home. That's fine. With anyways, me. we do not sympathize with an Andrew Garfield. We do not. Part, Peter Parker. We do right. sympathize with Tom Holland. Tom Holland, not only is he, like, super smart mm-hmm. in the, I'm talking in the MCU. Obviously. And, like, super nerdy. He's clearly gone through a lot. You Especially know? just from Endgame to here. Oh, boy. You know what I mean? So I do sympathize with him on that. The part of this movie that kind of bugged me, and I guess this is my part, like, my first down. Right. Yeah. It was more of a high school story like love story like sweethearts trying to figure out what they want to do in their high school career right than a spider-man movie in the first half at least in the Mm -hmm. first half at least and i think that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because i'm kind of sick of seeing that we know that uncle ben dies we don't see that 
we know that he falls in love with Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy doesn't you know depending or MJ because isn't her is well, that what's M- her name Mary Jane is it yeah well okay. I don't know in the MCU but that's what I'm saying whatever. it's I'm just saying in the Spider Man yeah in the Spider Man storyline we know these things are happening right stop showing it to like us like even the layman knows that yeah but stop showing it to us right I'm really glad that they didn't do the Uncle Ben thing again you know what I mean yeah yeah I'm glad. All, it's cool. all, the only like real mention he has, he might be mentioned in Homecoming. I'm, I I can't recall, but I know. I don't think so. On the suitcase, mm-hmm. it says like Ben Parker or something. Ben Franklin Parker. Okay. It's just B BFP, but the BFG. Remember B, that movie? BFG. Mm. It was it, Spielberg directed it. It, it came out animated, like, right? I think I don't know. I just remember it came out and it like bombed, and then no one. Yeah, talked I think about it was it. like animated. I'm sure we're just like unlocking the recesses of people's brain. They're like, Hold if you're on. listening this far, you deserve this, man. You deserve to you know deserve about the BFG. Deserve it. <laughs> uh, what? What? You got a downfall on this? You got something that bugged you really bad in Far From Home? There was a lot of comedy that I think kind of fell flat. Ugh. Like this and Homecoming both had like it seems like they pushed the comedy into overdrive. Yeah. Like like. Age of Ultron, while I didn't like that, it's I got did not some like that movie. No, it's definitely the weakest Avengers movie. But anyway, like even a movie like that, while it's it's flawed structurally, all that stuff, it did have some really funny kind of quips in that. Yeah. But this one, it feels like they're like, hold on, it's been five minutes, no one's no one's laughing, no one's laughing at the Flash getting punched in the nuts or him commenting about spider-man <laughs> or is that or flash whatever you know it's what i mean silver <laughs> or no oh no, my god no, the fucking the little the little guy the the, the running guy right the guy whoever the, the little <laughs> why, I don't, why am i drawing a, a blank do you not know who flash is but flash is dc the not oh, the flash oh, oh. <laughs> i thought you, See, you are senile <laughs> it's time to lock you up in the home i you thought you were not. totally talking about like Barry dc Allen? like yeah the flash no like, i'm talking like, about uh <laughs> flash but but him. who is? It's not Quicksilver, is it? No, it's the fucking. It's the other kid. But who in in Age of Ultron? <laughs> oh, his yeah, that's Quicksilver. Is that Quicksilver? Yeah. And he's also in the X Men movie. Yeah, but that's why he gets killed in that movie. Oh man, my brain's hurting. Hold now. on, we're trying to talk about <laughs> know, the misplaced comedy, and you're just you're you just fucking confused everyone. This is really bad. I'm so sorry. I'm talking about the guy who who said, "I like Spider Man because he he's so cool." Mm. Oh, hey, Dickwad. Like, like stuff like that. I don't. Yeah. I didn't like. Ha ha. What? Do you like the like? Do you like the character Flash in this? Yeah, he's all right. I think I liked him more in the like the Sam Raimi Spider Man because he was like this Jughead. I'm glad he wasn't dude. the same. Like that that one guy who was trying to like blackmail Spider Peter Parker. I forgot his name. The kid who like didn't get snapped, so he's like as old as I'm now. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I felt like that guy felt more like Flash from the Sam Raimi movies oh, than you're the right. other guy. Yeah, kind of just kind of a that dick. That guy and... really made me want to just fucking punch him in the head. Yeah, you're right. Which he, I... he he is 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 getting on my girl. Like, okay, relax, chief. Can we talk about the snap real quick? Sure. The blip. The blip. I don't like that. I don't either. I did not. Cause I, I thought it was stupid. I for, they, Kevin Feige called it something. It wasn't the blip, or maybe it was. The snapping. <laughs> I don't know it, if that's it was what it was. called something really stupid, and nobody liked it because it's known as the, the snap. Right. And now in the canon movie, it's known as the blip, which, which doesn't make sense. I don't like it, man. I do not like that at all. The other thing that pissed me off about it is, like, why – and maybe this is happening in between films, mm-hmm. but why aren't people, like – really talking about the issues at hand with that. Right. Like, and this goes with the displaced comedy. All of a sudden we see a basketball game and then, then there's boom, like band members in the middle of the mm-hmm. gym that come back after, you know, it's like, what about the people that were in a fucking airplane or something? Or the fact that actually, that's a really good point. Really good point. <laughs> like now what that the I'm fuck would that, happen there? Oh man. Like if a pilot, like, People are falling out of the, the air. Well, because the plane wouldn't fucking be there five years later. No. These people would just be falling out oh of the Oh, my sky. God. Like, I, I just, didn't even think of this. You're welcome. I just poked a hole in the fucking what, universe. What about, like, uh, skydivers or something, too? Wouldn't that be a bitch? <laughs> or, like, scientists. Would like, you still have your backpack on, though? Ooh. Well, yes, because they came back with band equipment on. So why wouldn't they come back with a Okay, well, then, on? I get, depending on where they were... In comparison to the ground, they might have been okay. Now but. I'm really thinking, man, like, what about, like, a NASCAR driver? 
<laughs> they're going like a hundred and some okay, miles an hour and all of a sudden just like what if, what if someone was like riding their bike across a fucking highway or something and then they just vanished and then they come back and their fucking cars just oh my this is a whole new podcast we need to call we kevin feige right <laughs> now we need answers man kevin <laughs> uh i just think they should have talked talking about the flash getting punched in the nuts or I not thought... the flash yeah f- just flash flash gordon nope What's another his name? i don't know <laughs> i don't care <laughs> he, i i didn't want to what ethnicity is he i i didn't want to say he's middle eastern of some sort i don't i was gonna say the little brown boy because he's really short yeah and that would be definitely taken as a racial comment i think you think so? If you just say that, yes. And I'm not going to repeat it, but if you just say that, <laughs> yeah. He's a beautiful little brown boy. That's what I would call I him. I like him. I yeah, like him as a character. Yeah. But I just want to this place comedy thing. Is it because he's brown? You don't like him? You no. racist? What? Why are you putting words <laughs> oh in my, my mouth God. now? Obviously, um, this is a joke, you liberals. We have, to, we, have to, we have to skip ahead now because we're off track. So anyway, Mysterio was pretty cool. Um, what do you know about Mysterio? Besides, I told you that, that he's, a, he's magic a magic guy. guy. He's That's not a magic all I knew. Guy. He's not really a magic guy. He uses like like parlor tricks almost. He was a special effects in the comics, mind you. He was a special effects guy for the movies, mm-hmm. and he did like special effects in Hollywood. Well, here's the thing. I think the change to his character worked really well. That's what I was making a point of with the Vulture, man. They tie mm-hmm. it really well in with both the MCU. Of, both the Vulture and Mysterio, I think they both worked. Because I had a suspicion that he was going to be the same sort of thing. Where it was like... Yeah. W- which, to an extent, he kind of was. But I thought it was going to be the exact... like. He met up with the Vulture. Because I thought Michael Keaton was going to be in this movie. Oh, man. So did I. I thought it was going to be like... Hey, Quentin, and this is gonna be in like a prison cell. This is like the first scene in the movie. Okay, this is this is oh, my brainstorm. You and your setup. Here we go. All right, he's in the prison cell, and then all of a sudden you hear the the the, the thing open. What's it? What's Mr. Uh, what's Vulture's name? Vulture. What's his real name? Vulture. Like in the movie, uh, Mr. Vulture. You have, <laughs> you have a visitor. He he swings around. He sees uh Mr. Beck in like a suit. You know, he's got the glasses on, looking real professional. Like suave. I, I, I know what you did last summer on the beach with the Spider-Man. Do you have any of that technology left? And then he's going to be like, yes. And then it's title card, okay? And then and then he took the tech from Vulture and like made it into Mysterio. I think That's that what work. I thought. I, thought. I think that would work. That was my idea. But I think they're really trying to stretch out the Spider-Man villains here. Really right. Trying to stretch. Which I think, honestly, I thought it was cool that they brought back the guy who got yelled at by Jeff Bridges. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Was that the same actor? I think so. I would love that if it was. I'm I'm gonna say I love it right now, I'm but I'd love it more sure. if it was. Okay. <laughs> because I don't think they would have made such a big point out of it if it wasn't. That's true. But that being said, also a little side thing is Tony Stark calls Thor the uh, Lebowski, who is played by Jeff Bridges. That's a separate issue. We'll get back to that. That's also cool. I like that. Did you notice that? No, but I like it now. Nah, you're welcome. Okay. I might have I, I might have known that from somewhere else. Yeah, that, I bet you did. Probably. Yeah, a lot of these YouTube. things just sponge into my brain. Anyways, I think him him being involved with Stark worked because he Tony Stark's dead. Yes. And I like I said, I think that the the way that they're tying it in putting nice spins in a mm-hmm. modern era on uh, this. He's not like a Harry Houdini. He's almost like yeah, like a MythBuster. Yeah, and he's definitely using the technology that he has at hand to his own advantage. Cause, cause the drones like do really creepy shit. Yeah, man, and they actually destroy things. That's what I'm saying. Like, like just like the same thing we talked about when we did Child's Play. Is, right. Is it's almost like even the big studios are like, hey, these drones, these AI things, they're fucking scary. Yeah, they're actually doing stuff. Right. Uh. I, th- wow. I mean, I'm really just going back into this movie now, and mm-hmm. I really like that. The thing that I didn't like about Mysterio is that he kind of like turned almost evil at a few points, where he started to point the drones at the guys' heads and stuff. Which makes sense because Jake Gyllenhaal has that terrifying stare. Which, if he was yelling at me, I think I might have shit my pants. I but still, at the same time, we see him like being like 
we are rallying together. We're going to take down Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. We're going to take down Stark. Like, we're going to do our own thing. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden he's like, I'm going to point guns at all of your heads that are helping me do things because I'm mad. Well, I think he, he, he's got a, he's a couple knives short of a full drawer of knives. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I just had a mini stroke. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really good, man. A, a I'm couple, really proud of A that couple one. sandwiches short of a picnic basket. Uh, if, if through a few fries short of a Happy Meal? No? I'll give it it's to you. It's a Weird Al reference. Is it? Yeah. Anyways. Uh, that was the only thing I didn't like. <laughs> that just derailed everything and we were it's saying. Fine. This whole podcast is like a derailment. I just didn't like the fact that he was like, I'm all of a sudden evil. And then, nope, we're back to it. Buddy, pull this thing back up mm-hmm. and increase the damage. And they're like, okay. You know, it's... Well, I mean, if 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 you were the lackey... There's really no way to just overthrow that. Dude, at the same time, though, this guy who just got yelled at by Jeff Bridges like 10 years ago. There's no way you can top it. But he's controlling the drones. If he was Couldn't pissed, he just press the button? If he was pissed enough, he could turn the drones on right. Mysterio. You know, you know, it's like, come on. Uh, I want to make a point, too, because I'm sick of hearing this in reviews. <laughs> I do not like the fact that people are saying this is a sequel to homecoming because it is not a sequel yes to homecoming. and no it's not dude this is a straight sequel to freaking imdb begs to differ well imdb <laughs> can shove it up their booty hole because i don't agree with that i would say it's definitely more of an end game it's almost like an epilogue to end game to to an extent yeah i guess like if if like the first hour of this movie hypothetically was the post credit scene of end game it would flow. It would make sense. What the hell was the post-credit scene in Endgame? There wasn't one. Oh, that's right. Also, Stan Lee didn't make a cameo in this movie, and it made me sad. That does make me sad as well. Like, CGI, I'm in there. We can do it with Carrie Fisher. We can do it with him. See, here's the thing. is I thought they said they had a bunch of them. I don't know, man. I thought that he was either going to be the guy when Peter picks up his passport, which wasn't in the movie anyway, or he was going to be like, the pilot of the plane. Yeah. That's what I that's what I was expecting. I kind of found the first like 20 minutes or so of this movie like really boring. Like, I thought the uh the in memoriam home video fantastic. Oh, well that's something. Yeah, that was that was great. Great. I mean, that was something because that a student would do now. Homecoming started with that great like vlog footage, yeah, which Justice League tried to do, right. but but made it terrible. Really bad. Yeah, and I didn't This see was that the movie. only way they could top it. Yeah. I, I don't even know what they would do for a third one. Uh, I don't know. Who who maybe that's drone footage of Happy and May on a date. We'll see. Well, <clears throat> the post credit scenes really kind of set up for what's gonna come. Mm-hmm. And there was two of them. Right. Do we want to dive into that real quick? Sh- yeah, fuck yeah, we do. Okay. The first one. What do you think about it? Because this, I'm coming from a comic standpoint, so I want to hear from a not. Non comic. Hold on, reader. hold on. The scroll one was exclusively the last thing. That right? was the last thing. Yeah. And then the first one was just his reveal. Yes. Okay, because I, I can't I couldn't remember I couldn't remember when it stopped versus when it started again. Right, I know. Was, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I love <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta rev up for this okay, one. Okay, yeah. Let's go. I love J. Jonah Jameson, played by J.K. Simmons. I don't think there, Oh yeah. I don't think there will ever be someone who plays him better. And I think Disney knew that, and they go Okay, he was Commissioner Gordon in the Justice League. Those movies are done. We're going to get him back. Was he? He was. I didn't see Justice League. We talked League. about this before. Oh, man. I remember because you were like, was he? That sucks. <laughs> so the fact that he is back in the MCU as the same character is fantastic because I'm pretty sure he's the only one at all that's done something like that. Yeah, probably. We, there might be, oh, there was one extra in, in, in X-Men 3 that was in Thor 2. Oh, God. Save me with that bullshit. Yeah, stop it. You know what I mean. Yes. The only thing about him that I'm upset about, he's missing the hair. I was going to say the same thing. And the I get it. He's bald in real life. Yeah. Which is fine. But I don't really like the little uh, Henry Jones Sr. thing he's got going on yeah. there. It's It doesn't deter from the fact that I'm beyond excited to see where he is in the next one. I like that they're doing the modern times where he's kind of more of a... You know, he's like he's like he's almost like I don't. He's do an, he's an Alex Jones. He is an Alex I, Jones. I, he is totally an Alex. You saw Jones. it in my I eyes, did. and I was like, I'm <laughs> gonna do it. Happened. I'm gonna do it. Uh, and I like that. <laughs> he's gonna go destroy the child. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> 
I really liked the fact that he had a cigar hanging out of his mouth. In oh the yeah, movies. I can't believe it. And they should have him doing that because it's his own damn show. If he wants to sit there and smoke cigar and drink scotch, he should be able to do it. Joe Rogan smokes pot on his podcast every day. That's so. true, and it's broadcasted all over the place. That's what I'm saying. So, but that's not what I was excited for. Right. I know. I was going to let you have the other one. I, I really don't care about JJ. Like you, whore. Truly, in a true sense. Well, obviously, he's he's definitely a supporting character. He's not going to be on the front lines, at well, least I think. I think he'll be on the front lines now. You know what I mean? But, like, he's not going to be out in the fucking battlefield. Oh, yeah, he's not, like, running around with Spider-Man, you know. Like in, Let's beat him like up. in Spider-Man 2 when he puts on the suit. What? You know what I'm talking about? I think it's a post credit scene. I don't remember in Spider-Man, it, I, it might be Spider-Man 1. One or the two of them, like, one of the reporters walks in his office and he's got the suit on. And he's oh, standing really? on the desk. Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, I don't remember that. That might be a deleted scene. <laughs> it's something. But the one that I'm excited about, being someone who has read in depth multiple times the Civil War comic. Which explain to me again because I forgot. Civil War is kind of what Civil War was based like the movie. Well, I, I know the basic semi, gist, but what it but doesn't. Basically what happens is that there's splits two teams just like in the movie. But the, the catch is, is that one team is for the Superhero Registration Act, which means that superheroes have to reveal their identity to the public so that people aren't afraid of them. Which is Iron Man's side of the yes. movie. And then Cap is against it in the yes. movie. Well, no, in the comics. Isn't it switched in the comics? No, no. In the comics, Cap's like, no, you don't do that. Okay, so that's, it's still the same. Okay. That's bad. I couldn't, I, I yeah, don't know. But, but you know, Iron Man's like, I'm Iron Man. Well, I mean, he... Like, you know he, who yes. I am, so why doesn't everyone else do it? You know, that way you're not afraid of me. And Which I understand why someone like Spider-Man would keep his identity a secret. Absolutely. Someone who's not a multi-billionaire who has every type of security on the planet to absolutely. keep him safe. He's just a kid, man. He's just like this guy that's like... He's he's literally your average suburban kid. Yeah, trying to stay Which is to stay obviously <laughs> why he's he's so appealing to everyone. Like, and I think that's one of the struggles that we've seen throughout this movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, actually, now that we think about it, throughout his entire career in the MCU, he's been like this struggle, like, I want to help people, but... He just wants to prove himself as one of the big boys. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so good. And then he vanishes. And then... And then he's blipped. Ugh. Remember Blip TV? No. That was a website. Okay, well, it was no. It was like, it tried to be a YouTube, but then just like every other competitor of YouTube, it just got died. usurped. Yeah, just And died. then it was just dead. It got blipped into the... Oh, I see what you did YouTube there. Bro. You did a joke. Uh, Spider-Man's... Identity is revealed by JJ. Right out into the open. Just smack it right on the screens in Central Park. Was that Central Park? No. Maybe. Times Times Square. It, he flew through what I think is going to be the Fantastic Four Tower. Uh, okay. You know that, that building with like the big opening and he just flies through it? Oh my oh, god, I just punched the, punched mic, the again. mic again. Sorry. Uh, I don't think that's it. I think they're either going to go with... Or it's the Os- Osborne? I think thing? they're going to go Oscorp okay. or Fantastic Four with the Avengers Tower. That's about it. Okay. Either or. I, I mean, I just, I don't know much about Fantastic Four. I just know. I don't either. Because Are I you a fake comic book fan? I don't like them, man. Weren't they the first ones? First, like, super group? Not that I know of. I'm pretty sure they're, they are. It could be, but I don't care about them. I think I saw an article. I just don't, <laughs> I just don't, like, like them. That's the thing is I, I really like them on paper, I really want to see them done well. Yeah, me so too. that someone like I, I mean, me I do, but I will care. I, like you couldn't ask me questions about the Fantastic Four. I don't know. I don't know. That's what, what I'm saying. Like you would never, if you would have asked someone 15 years ago, "Hey, how do you feel about Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor on a fucking team?" Everyone would be like, "I don't care." Yeah. But now, now they're they're almost as well known as the Justice League. Yeah, probably more, more well known. <laughs> At this point, yeah, because yeah, their movie wasn't a steaming pile of garbage. Yeah, uh, but that's that that scene itself, man. I think is going to evolutionize what's coming next for the MCU mm-hmm. because we have threats on Earth with people knowing who Peter Parker is, but we also have threats coming from space. Space, and that's what the second end credit scene is. So we get revealed that. Uh, Nick Fury is a is a scroll. He was in space the entire time. Is Maria Hill still alive or is she dead and just being cuz we didn't see her in space, did we? Yeah, but when did she die? Did she die? But when would she have I don't died? even remember the last time we saw her. I don't either to be honest with you. It's been That's a very why I was I was very shocked to see her in this movie of all things. That's why I was shocked to see her at the end of freaking Infinity War, man. Because, oh yeah, in the cuz I'm like who's that 
No way. I was. I thought, I, shit, I honestly wish it was Coulson. Because I know he's technically dead in, in, nope. in the movies. Nope, because the TV show is part of the MCU. But he's in the movie. He hasn't been in the movie since. But it doesn't matter because the, okay. the show is part of the MCU. Okay, Which, those are all canceled. Don't doesn't matter. Don't is care. Agent of Shield canceled? I'm pretty sure. Let the record state that I don't watch that. show. I don't either. And I've never watched the that only show. Marvel TV show I've watched recently is The Punisher, which was great. Yeah, I didn't, didn't even watch Daredevil. I didn't even care about any of the Netflix shows either. The so. only reason I did is because I like John John Bandage or whatever. His yeah, name is. I don't or really him. like him. But really? Yeah, I don't care. Honestly, he might make a good Batman. He's got that growly voice. Well, he's not Batman because this is not a Batman comic or comic. Okay, I would say podcast. I would say Batman and Spider Man are the two biggest superheroes of all time. Probably br- 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 wrong. Probably wrong. Check. Super- Superman. Superman's probably second or third. Though. I mean, Superman was like those are definitely the top three. Is Batman, Superman? I don't even want to argue about superheroes i'm just talking about Spider-Man i'm just talking about podcast. like if you interview or if you survey 100 people th- those are probably going to be the top results Can maybe you, some of the mcu people now but you know what i mean uh i don't know anyways back to yeah. space nick fury Sorry. i just think that we're gonna see some shit in this upcoming so phase it, four yeah because uh, i think this was the last of, of three phase right? three yeah so coming in phase four we're gonna see sword which is you know how what I was going to ask you about. That's you know the space shield, shield right? Yeah. Okay. You know how there's shield in, in, on Earth? Well, now there's sword for space. Okay. So, like, sword and shield. I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, and they def- they defend against, uh, you know, space coming threats, which truly... Space pirates. We could see... Worse. I mean, we could what? see Silver Surfer come up in this bitch. We could see Galactus come up in this bitch. That's why I'm waiting for bitch. a good fucking... Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, we could see a lot of like we could see Adam Warlock finally come out of that golden cage that's been in freaking Is is Guardians. I I hear through the Twitter sphere that one Keanu Reeves is in talks to play him. Would that be a good choice? Adam Warlock? Yes. I wouldn't be mad about it. I want to see Keanu in one of these. You movies. know who I want to see Keanu play? Who? Kane the Conqueror. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Well, you need to read a comic book. Because Kane the Conqueror is Does he f- conquer? He's a force to be reckoned with, homie. Is he uh, an Earth person or no, a space person? No, he's a person? space person, and here's okay. the crazy thing, too. He makes Thanos look like a bitch. Shut up. Swear to God. He controls, like, time. Like, the co- time continuity and, like, the multiverse could totally tie in with this character easily. Because didn't they say that, there? yes, there is a multiverse, even though oh Mysterio my sh- the lied? The thing that pissed me the fuck off about this is that I was, like, hype as shit for the multiverse coming into this movie, because that's what we see in the trailer, and then all of a sudden he's like, nah, nah, there's no What multiverse. do you mean we see it in the trailer? In the tra- in the, when he says in it? In the first trailer, when Peter addresses him, like, you're telling me that there's a multiverse? Well, I they say like, that in the movie, too. Yeah, but then we find out later on that he was lying... That there's no well, then maybe he heard about it actually happening and then use that as his cover. Yeah, but why would he drop the Earth 616 shit? For all the fat bearded nerds that know that shit. Number one, I'm pudgy, not fat. I'm not talking about you. And my beard is not I'm talking that about good. the people who, who <laughs> sit in the theaters munching popcorn so loudly it, it pops your eardrums. You love movie theaters, man. I actually kind of hate them. I know. I know. I want to let them die. But then you wouldn't be able to see Spider Man 3. No, because then they just shit it out direct to video. Uh, what's the What's the next Spider-Man be called? We had Homecoming, and then we had Far, Far from, from Home, home and then Homeless. Like, homeless, yeah, that's right. I saw that meme. I, I yeah, yeah, that was funny. Because because honestly, that that actually might be the title because yeah, because he's he, got to run away. Oh yeah, because he. I don't a- know, how absolutely. long have we been going? Uh, we're, we're approaching forty minutes of just. Oh, okay, I, I thought we were going for a little bit longer than that. Uh. How is our rating system working? This was kind of a shit review, but at the I mean, same we were time, just kind of shooting the shit. I think this is more of a Spider-Man. If discussion. you want a little insight onto how this episode came to be, we were listening to the last one and thought, <laughs> and we were like, "You want to just do it? Let's just one? do it." So this one's a lot less organized. I and feel. the perks of living two minutes from each other is that it, it works. You just a over. stone th- throw away, yeah, or so, a infinity stones throw away, huh? All right, that's the podcast. Yeah, uh, that's goodbye. my time. See you later. <laughs> We're all done here. You you hear like the uh, like the sitcom like the credits going up and just the. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. How did we do our rating system? I think, I think we should just stick it to like a Siskel and Ebert thing where you either yes or no. Pick so it or either, flick it. You either pick it or you flick it. Yeah, I think the doing all the different ratings is going to confuse me. It confused me. 
So that's why I'm asking Confused how we did it. Reviews, huh? Uh oh. Oh, that's my name. Hey, can you tell me real quick? I sure can. So it is <laughs> you're doing a thing tonight. I am. Is this going to be available to view later? I think so. Oh, then we should plug it. Okay. And, because this is important. It's part of your growth. It's part of our growth. Is to just view horror each other because I've never done that. This is a big like like I've I've never even said to subscribe or anything so this is i would never say to subscribe except as joke all right guys don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share it on facebook don't forget to click that bell icon and subscribe to my channel we're also, giving away a five million dollar <laughs> gift card you, you gotta your, your voice has to go up at least five or six decibels I can't do that and don't forget to like us on facebook twitter google plus pornhub and myspace all right see you guys later <laughs> You want to win that five million dollar gift card? <laughs> Do you leave a comment our... in the subscribe in the <laughs> leave a comment. Be a subscriber and comment down below your favorite superhero. Oh my! You know who I'm talking God. about too. Everyone now. I'm on blast. Everyone anyway. now. So back to the rating because we just we keep fucking. Are you picking it? Or are you flicking it, Luke? I mean, it's. I think it's an obvious. It's pick. a pick. Yeah, it's definitely a pick. Um, De- definitely pick it and go flick it. I just want to say. Mm-hmm. That before you pick this, okay, make sure you do some reading, do some uh, investigation on. Are you talking to me or just no? Nope, just talking to people because I know that there's going to be someone out there listening to this going, "Well, I've never seen Endgame." Well, get your ass on that couch and Why, watch though? Endgame. Why would you do that? Because man, you can't just because then into maybe this. if that person saw it, it could have beat Avatar at the box office. I know a guy who has not seen any MCU movies. Besides Homecoming. I thought you were going to say Endgame. Nope. And I was going to be appalled. Nope. He has well, That's the thing. Is like, to an extent, Homecoming could work on its own. Yeah. It would have worked on its mm-hmm. own until they made a sequel, which is Infinity War. I thought you were going to say <laughs> Far From Home. Because <laughs> home, no. you just said that that wasn't a <laughs> yeah, sequel. That's not a sequel. No. So I told him, when I, and I spoke to him last week. When I, I told him, I said, if you're going to go see... Far from home. I At see, least see Endgame. You have to see Endgame, man. Which means you have to see 21 movies before that. And he's like, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Because he's going conf- to be like, where's Iron Man? Well, I think the movie does a good job at explaining that he's dead. He dead. That's like... Rip. R. I, R. I, I Okay, so I was right, though. I did have a suspicion that because Mysterio's like magic guy, I thought Tony Stark in the flesh was going to pop out and be like, hey, Peter, and then just... But no, it was just a suit. Which so, I mean, it real worked, quick, worked I know well. we already gave the rating, which means we're wrapping up here. We're but never wrapping up. This you, is an endless discussion. Do you think Mysterio's dead? No, I think he's dead. I don't. I think he's dead. I I think you asked me this the other day. Yeah. No, I do not think he's dead. I think that if they bring him back after seeing because, Peter because grab when, him out of his Peter Tingle, um, I think that it's it's going to look a little corny. Well, it's the thing though. Is I I was thinking. For one, he's the master ma- the master, master of, illusion. of illusion. When would he have to had time to edit that video? If he's if he's not don't, dead, don't put thoughts in my head. Because <laughs> because think about it. No, I I actually agree with you one hundred percent. Let's right let's just shit it out for the viewers real quick though. Because from no, nope. oh my god, might, you're ridiculous. Yeah, that might actually be a shit. We've all gambled on a fart and yeah, lost. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> Anywho. So from literally when the Peter Tingle grab happens to his death in the Chris Farley, Bennett Brower quotes, when would he have had time to take that footage from the drone, chop it up, edit it, send it over to Jay Jonah? Bald guy controlling the drones. No. Uh, scary, weird, Don't think so. weird girl ironing the cape. I think she, I think her and Dominic, what was the guy's I name? I don't know. Dimitri, he care. needs a spinoff movie. I like that guy. <laughs> He's got my. He's got a thumbs up for me. If he's if he's not dead, I'm not gonna be mad. But I thought they did a really nice job at the end. If this would have been like a Sam Raimi esque series up to this point and wasn't a part of this grand MCU universe, sure. I would say yeah, he's probably dead. But you know they have Black Panther two, Doctor Strange two, Black Widow's coming out, Guardians three, Adam Warlock spinoff because of Guardians three, Spider Man's three three through eighty seven. They're gonna do a Sinister Six movie. Three through eighty-seven. I, I like. I, I think it's being set up for sure. Cause we've already seen Scorpion. Have we? Oh yeah, baby. 
Not in costume, though. Not in costume. Okay. Because remember those fake spoilers that said that was the end of this movie? Was yeah, yeah. I, fucking internet lying to me like that? I got so hyped for that, though. Like, I felt for I, that I was core. excited. Yeah. And I don't even... Because Amazing Spider-Man came out at a time where cinematic universes were hot. Everybody was trying to jump on that. Yeah. And then they at the end of 2, they, they set it up like, Hey, guys, Sinister Six is coming. Everyone get, get ready. I, I can only imagine that they would... Because everyone got really excited at that time for that. Right. Even though Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked. So everyone seems to generally enjoy these movies. I, I, I can't, from a marketing standpoint, imagine them not wanting to do the Sinister Six. No, they should. Uh, but the other thing that we've already the seen The Suicide is, Squad that is good is what I would call it. We've already seen Gambino up in this bitch, too. What the fuck is that? Childish Gambino? Oh, Don't okay. It. Yeah, okay. Sorry, you tripped me out. I thought that was another... Gambino. He's the galactic space turd. No. Like, I don't... Yeah. We've already seen Childish Gambino, and his character is the Prowler. Is he? Yeah, he's... The, Aaron you, Davis. The, oh, yeah. And you know who's his you know nephew? The, uh, Miles Morales. Miles Morales, Holy baby. fuck nuggets. So we're wrapping this thing right in. Because I didn't even think about that, because the only reason I know who the Prowler is... Is because of... Because of, of Spider-Verse, which... Because I never said what my first two are, I think Spider Verse might be my favorite Spider Man movie that's ever been. That's and I don't know shit about Miles Morales. A really good point, actually, because I kind of forgot about that movie. Spider Verse, Spider Man Two, and then this is is where I would probably Ooh, put it. Man, yeah, that's probably really good, man. Because Spider, you like Spider Man Two? Fuck yeah. with Doc Ock. Fuck yeah, I like Doc Ock. I like Doc Ock. But I uh -huh. didn't really He's part like... of the Sinister Six as well? Yeah. Who are the Sinister Six? Like The original? Whatever one. We have Mysterio, Doc Ock. Uh, Green Goblin. I don't think he's part of the original. Really? Yeah. Vulture. Vulture. Okay, hold on. Hold Electro. On. Hold on. Doc Ock, Mysterio, Vulture. Electro. Electro. And then uh, we have the Hunter guy. What's his? Craven? Craven the Hunter. Why the fuck do I know that and you don't? I drew a blank for some reason. And then Scorpion. Really, I would have thought Venom and Green Goblin would have been in there. Venom never joins the Sinister Six. Probably because he's a fucking wild card. Because he's crazy. Which, let me list, let everyone in on a secret. I've never seen that movie. I didn't see Venom either. Yeah, I didn't I, want to. The only thing I know about it is the Eminem song and how hilarious that is. Yeah, I don't care. Venom! That's literally how the song goes. Ew, and I don't care. Any whom, where were we at? Because we keep... Wrapping up here. I, I had a, another thought. You're just talking about Spider-Verse being... Oh, right, right, because Spider-Verse, the, the reason I think it's my favorite is it had the impossible task of making me care about a Spider-Man that wasn't the already well-known Peter Parker. Yeah, except and it did all that. those Spider-Men and women have already been in, established in the comics for a long time. But I'm talking about for the layman like myself for, for the noobs for the non-comic book for the people. noobs yeah uh which i'm glad you enjoyed mm -hmm. i'm truly glad you enjoyed but i remember which one spider verse yeah something? okay yeah. and i'm i remember sitting because we saw that together I we did i remember sitting there and you were like who's this guy and i was like i had to yeah I had he's to. a classic spider-man villain just go with it he's been know? around since 1937 and, <laughs> and 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 his his grandson turns into venom twice and then oh god and then and then there's this one time when he joins the fantastic four and then my head hurts. Yeah. Well, that none of that happened. Because I thought the Prowler was Black Panther for a, a good little moment in the movie. No, no, no. And because no. I think I asked you, I was like, "Is that fucking Black Panther?" Yeah, nah, not happening. He's he's a black cat with spike spiky fingers. The so Prowler I thought it was him. A little bit cooler in the comics. Oh, than because black because you're yeah. racist. I, they're both black. Do you remember that when Black Panther came out and if anyone said anything bad about it, it was because you were a racist? Yeah, but you know what, though? If we're going to dive into that stupid subject we'll for real We'll just keep talking quick, all night. I don't really I care. really like Black Panther. The I, movie? Yeah. I was refreshed to see a new character that we didn't really know that well as a, like a story. What is that called? Uh, intro? Origin? Origin story. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, just thought, I just thought it was nice. A, a character we haven't seen. I thought... There were things that I really liked. I, and there things was I'd, terrible green screen through the whole movie and a little bit of CGI bad acting. The rhinos so and the end battle were both terrible. Yeah, I And agree it definitely with you. dragged the movie down quite a bit for me. But Killmonger was great. I agree with you. I didn't like Michael I can't B. believe they killed Killmonger. him off and let, in that movie. I do. I, yeah. But yet they're I gonna, agree with you. I'm uh -huh. not happy about it. I would like to see him he more. Might, he's probably not dead either. The blip. 
No, nah, he died before nah, the blood. He would, yeah. Or someone snapped and thought, bring everyone who's dead ever back to life. We got George Washington running around on a CGI rhino. Are you just making a fan fiction now? Because yeah, I, I, with it. Because <laughs> I, because I got very confused what was going on there. Go see this movie. Definitely, it's the end. Of the, that's, that's. I mean, the come end. on, everyone already has. Like, if you haven't seen this movie, shut up. Go see it. And and Ed, shout out to you. You'll never listen to this because we share, swear too much. But who's Ed? My buddy who has only seen home. Oh, that home guy. Home. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Ed, go Hi. go watch everything else. Where's Ed and Eddie? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Stop. I am so sorry for how long this carried on for. I'm not. I we're it, it's not really a, a review at this point. It's more Is of it a ever, discussion. Though? It's more of just like hey, I will tell you if thoughts. you haven't watched the first episode, go check that shit out, man. Because mm-hmm. I'm not about being you know sappy and the shameless plugs. Subscribe Honestly, I think to I, our I might have I might like this episode more once I listen to it again. I'm sure it's because we're talking, we're having fun. Because this one flows a lot. Like I thought the first one flowed. This one's just moving. It's because it's just a conversation, man. It's, That's it's all hopping. a podcast is about. And if you don't like that, you're in the wrong area. This is an ADHD film discussion. Is what if I you call want it. in-depth storyline recaps and how stupid things are, check out Luke's other channel. He's got a badass new video out right now about. A well, movie gonna, I didn't know existed. It's going to be old by the time you put this up. <laughs> It'll be the next video, week. I mean, yeah, it's okay. your newest video. It is. I oh, didn't know that movie existed. Uh, go the, check that the, out. The 10th installment in the you, ever-growing franchise. I'm going to plug your channel because you're bad at it. Okay. You point out things that are really bad, really good. You give background information on the storyline because I've never seen any of the Hellraiser movies, and I feel like I know everything about those movies now. There you go. And also, you are you know, kind of funny. So sometimes you have that. Going sometimes they land. Sometimes they don't. So if you are looking for more in-depth reviews on movies, confused reviews, check that shit out. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bell notification. <laughs> Give us a thousand dollars. Follow me on on, on <laughs> Pornhub. Comment your favorite horror f- fucking character so we can give you a $10 million You know what gift would be great? Um, I would love it if on my new videos, instead of commenting on the quality of the video or anything pertaining to that, request more movies for me to do as if I don't have enough of those. Which leads us to our next thing. Comment, <laughs> subscribe, and like to this video and also tell us what you want us to talk about. That's going to become a pet peeve of yours. I guarantee it. I don't really care. Because people, people do that on my new video. Like, I'm glad people want to see me make more videos because that's obviously what that is. But like, when I put 20 plus hours into a video, yeah, for the only thing for someone to say is, can you review Leprechaun 7? I'm like, all right, thanks, Here, thanks here's guy. What's, here's why it's not going to be a pet peeve for uh-huh. us on this. Because we can, no one's going to do it. <laughs> no, but we could sit down and watch. Oh, nice. Oh good my job. God, headphones. We could sit down. We could watch a two-hour movie, and then we can come down here and do a one-hour podcast. We're only investing three hours, and we're done. Yeah. Where you, you have to like chop things up and do cartoon drawings and shit. Well, I don't have to do any. Those are all pre-done. When are you doing a face reveal? I was thinking about doing it on the on the live stream tonight. Honestly, Dude, that'd be funny as hell if you do that. I might. Do oh, it. by the way, what's this live stream thing? Oh, um, it's probably gonna be very old when this. That's fine, uh, but you when, can go but, back and watch it. But, right? Um, my, I'm gonna put this in air quotes here. Horror community on YouTube. It's a it's a big thing. I I it's didn't a, I didn't think it was as big as it was until I heard about who was on it, what was going on. Like you know, Mr. Creepypasta. Yeah, he's on it. Oh really? I think his hour's going right now. Okay. So. My buddies over at the Horror Addicts, shout out to them. They started this thing because they did it last year when ads and all that stuff on YouTube was just getting slashed. Yes. All of us little channels were getting just dumped on. Yep. All these people who didn't have a thousand subs, this, that, and the other, they were getting no ads. They were getting all their money that they were going to make gone, which I can't imagine was all that much anyway. Right. Still sucked. So they came up with this idea. It's almost a bar hop of sorts but of live streams on different people's channels and you just hop from one to the other find new content new people you might like that sort of thing oh. and i don't have the correct wi-fi set up to do that it, it <laughs> i i've tried it a few times on test it it bricks out and is done dogs yeah. so i'm joining my buddies over at the horror show go check them out they have a much bigger following than i do at well, it doesn't matter because this is going to be this is live. Just but, check them out, period. But check out. I'm sure they're going to archive the stream. I'm going to be on there at midnight tonight, um, even though I have work tomorrow because hey. YOLO. Got to be a, remember, gotta remember be when people adult. said that. But it's basically a bar hop of finding different channels, and we're just going to talk about horror, and it's going to be a whole thing. 
beautiful i might do a face reveal even i i just voice cracked really hard i heard it it was great i'm gonna i I might do a face reveal because everyone keeps asking me about it but i'm not gonna do it on a video because if you didn't catch the live stream you're shit out of luck we should definitely do a video of it it'd be hilarious of this no of you just revealing your face Okay. It'd be hilarious. I was thinking about the last episode of Confused Reviews. I do like a full-fledged thing. That's what last I was Last episode. You're never stopping that. If you stop that, I'm going to be mad at you. I, okay. My name is Vox. My name's Disappointed. True. <laughs> Pick it and flick it. Podcast. Episode two. And Ep- Episode two. I mean, seriously, if you lasted an hour. I'm proud of you because I, I, be I feel like I need a nap after this one. It does happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be back soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Seriously. And yeah. give us suggestions. Only a little sarcasm. On we're, that. I just, I'm kind of. And if fun you want to suggest a movie for us to do, just do it. Just fucking just do it. Do it. There's no stopping you. Bye. Good night. <laughs>